time for me to call it, I think. A lot of progress tonight. Very cool. We will be jumping to planets in no time. Good stuff. Let's see, uh... Yes, sir. Can't see him for shit, but it don't matter. Should move him up. And move the camera closer to him. Got my selfie, man. Oh, there's something I need to talk to you about. Remind me about. Um, about highlights for our stream. I'm going to talk about. A couple of things I want to talk about with that. So we got this. this fighter jet i now this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen specifically because well it moves faster but really it's so that since this ship is going to be landing on planets that ship will be able to fight in the atmosphere or not so that one's going to be hydrogen but i want to make an ion drone Specifically for space. And then the... Um, the utility ships I have right now... Are... All running on ion. But... I don't want to run them on hydrogen. But I want this ship to have available... It's repair drones. You know, it's repair ships. And, and the... The little drill ship or whatever, right now they're running on, um, you know, you have to fly them. But I at least want to remote control them so I could just sit in Gertrude and send out the ship. Um, but, uh, it would be even nicer to give them a route to take. But then every time you move, you'd have to read GPS everything. I, I, just, I know that, so. But, that being said, I'm thinking instead of having three utility ships for each different utility all running on ion maybe get a multi-purpose you know one or two multi-purpose ones and then as for drilling because i want to put a drill ship on here the um the lobster as it stands right now, can drill in both atmosphere and um, in space. So that drill ship would work. It doesn't have to be necessarily this specific one, but and it could be, you know, reshaped a little bit. It's not too heavy on excess armor. But uh yes, this ship can be um, used for both. Now, the other thing is, if Gertrude's going to be landing, going to be flying into an atmosphere and landing, I've never tried to do that with Gertrude with full con cargo containers and all the ships attached. But if you had, like, for example, the Lobster and that fighter attached, since they're running on hydrogen, you could always detach them before 
you know, you breach the atmosphere and have them land on their own. Um, which I think would be the safest option. And then we can put the ships, reattach the ships once she safely landed and see if we can lift off with them. That would be the safer experiment. Um, that's what I'm thinking right now, you know, where this is going. And, uh, this hydrogen thruster, this arm is going to be extended down past the hydrogen thruster and it's going to be one of the landing struts and then the other one on the other side. And then the ship needs one more large downward thruster. And I want to put it up here. Once we cut the front end off, extend it out a little bit. If we need to, we might not even need to really do that or whatever. Um, we could just throw a, well, we could put, you know, our gun up here. But this should get another landing strut or whatever up front here with another hydrogen thruster in it and those will be the three landing points um so yeah we're gonna need another hydrogen but we, we need another hydrogen thruster these three the ship lands pretty good it's fine it's not hard to control or anything with the three um but we are going to be filling things up. I would be scared to not have another one on there. So, yep. Front end's got some work on needs on it. Not much left to do back here, though. The only thing really back here is to figure out the legs here. And, um, well, we obviously have to build everything. But once it's built, I'm saying there's not much left to do over here. If we want to put some kind of gunning system on top of here, there's nothing else going up here. This is open. So this has to be covered anyway. So depending on what we cover it with, we can put many more guns. We can put, there's some cool railgun turrets that uh, people have made. Maybe we can look into making one of those up there. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah. And the ship attaches here. The connector, well, the way I have it set up now is the connector attaches to this piston. It only has the 10 foot extension, so you need to have the connector on the base come out a little bit too, but it's pretty easy. Not a big deal. And that's going to be it for me. I'm glad I did the tour now because now if. And just game doesn't save it it'll still be okay okay let's go to sleep if you're watching thank you for watching i appreciate it hope you had a good time and um yeah you know where we're going so if you want to keep seeing it get done Come on back. Absolutely doing this again Monday. But uh might be doing it again earlier. Don't know. Next two days. You know, obviously Easter and whatever, but we'll see what happens. Well, good night. And actually, you know, go to sleep, dude. Turn it off and go to sleep, man. I appreciate you sticking around. My guy's sleeping, your guy's sleeping, I'm going to sleep, and you're going to sleep. That's it. Done. Alright, everybody. Well, I hope you had a good night. And uh, if you like what you saw, you know, appreciate a follow. But if not, come back anyway. <laughs>